Well, anyway, I watched the second episode of JoJo 50 times. I chose the second episode because personally, actually, you know what, I think I'm speaking for everyone here when I say that it's obviously the best JoJo episode of all time. Alright, kidding aside, I've been learning Japanese every day for over 800 days straight now, and on that journey, I've picked up a lot of different techniques for learning foreign languages. One of the most prominent ones being simply just getting a lot of exposure to the language that you're learning. W wait I hear you say? You can't just learn Japanese from anime? What are you fucking stupid? How many times have I told you? You can't learn Japanese with anime. For those of you who already don't know, Matt from Matt vs Japan is a YouTuber who learned Japanese to a very high level of proficiency, mostly by watching tons of anime. He is kind of a living example of the fact that you can, in fact, learn Japanese from anime without ending up sounding like an anime character in real life. Yes, I'm also disappointed. Dogen, another YouTuber who makes videos about learning Japanese, focuses a lot on a concept known as pitch accent, which is basically the end game of getting your Japanese sounding as natural as possible. Pitch accent is pretty hard to learn though, and one of the recommendations he has made is to listen to the same movie over and over and over again. Uh, listen to a movie that it's just only standard Japanese. And the movie that I personally recommend the most is 12 Kind Japanese People. And if you just put that on repeat in the background while you do other things, that'll go really, really, really far for you. I typically think it's best if you use a normal movie with actual actors rather than an anime because oftentimes it'll exist in like a fantasy world or stuff like that and you can't also get the cultural knowledge from that. Well, I don't know about you, but personally I'd love to live in a fantasy world, so I'll completely ignore the rational advice he gave and instead watch an episode of Jojo 50 times. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Wow, I barely understood anything. Now, looking back at my first watch through, even though I actually knew the majority of the words even back then, I just couldn't hear them. The characters were talking either too fast or too unclearly for me to pick up all the words on the first try. And even if I did, there were still the words which I hadn't learned yet, so I only had half the meaning sometimes. But when I watched it again, I started hearing more and more words on literally every single watch through. In fact, I had to watch it 17 times for me to even start feeling like my current vocabulary is getting exhausted. Unsurprisingly, the biggest weakness in my Japanese is my listening ability, but what I noticed is the fact that my listening ability had already improved in only 18 watch-throughs. During this experiment, I also started watching another anime called Torohedoro. Really fantastic anime by the way. I decided to watch it with Japanese subtitles, looking up the words which I didn't know. And to my surprise, there was an actual noticeable difference in my listening ability compared to before. And on the 22nd listen, I decided to finally watch the Jojo episode with Japanese Japanese subtitles as well. And man, I actually still had so many words which I knew but didn't pick up through listening alone. In fact, I honestly kind of feel like I should have checked the Japanese script a bit earlier. Because if I had known those words earlier, I would have been able to hear and comprehend the dialogue better, which I think would have given me more value out of this experiment faster. And actually for a different reason as well. As I kept watching, my ability to clearly hear all the dialogue improved. However, before I had checked the script, there were some lines in the anime which I just didn't hear correctly, and I got used to hearing them wrong. One example of this is Sudede, which I was absolutely certain was Hotede. Okay, please let me know in the comments, did you hear it correctly on the first try? I'm really curious to know because I even asked multiple friends and none of them heard Hatede. I actually had so much trouble hearing it correctly that I had to listen to it very carefully on repeat over and over again until it finally eventually clicked. So yeah, if you're going to do the same experiment, I recommend checking the script earlier than I did. Also, on the 24th listen, I made Anki cards for all the words which I didn't know, as otherwise there is no way I'd memorize all of them. And not to mention, I actually need to know what the word looks like as well so I'd be able to recognize it later. 
I ended up making a bit over 100 new cards, so I basically learned over 100 new words through this experiment. I really recommend making cards for the words which you don't know, because having memorized the words to Anki honestly made such a big difference. Well, after that, I kept on listening and watching, still improving here and there on pretty much every single watch through, until eventually, the time had come. Well, I had finally watched the second episode of Jojo 50 times, and I can confidently say that yes, it worked. I can now genuinely watch the entire episode without subtitles and I pretty much understand everything. And I didn't just plainly memorize the dialogue, no, I acquired it. My Japanese genuinely improved to the extent that I can naturally understand the episode now. And one hidden benefit from this, which at first I didn't think about at all, is the fact that having heard the lines so many times, they are kinda ingrained in my head now. Whenever I hear certain words which were in the anime, like omoshiroi, my brain instantly goes... It's actually very useful, because it helps me recall the given word so much faster. And of course, it gives me an example sentence with its pronunciation right away. I feel like this really goes to show how useful getting lots of input is for improving your output as well. So, I do recommend this method for anyone learning a foreign language, but honestly, 50 times is an overkill. I recommend watching the same episode about 5 to 10 times, the first few times without checking the script, then go ahead and check the script and make flashcards for the words which you don't know, and after that, you can listen to it however many times you want, until you get bored of it, because the most important part of language learning is enjoying the journey. Well, that's all for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, because honestly, this video took me so much effort to make so, Thank you very much for watching it, and also a very special thanks to the people who keep on coming back for new videos. I really appreciate it, and I also hope to see you in the next one.